In this video, we're going to cover how to stream perception neuron data into VR chat. We'll need the following applications installed. Links to download the assets will be shared in the video comments. In order to run our data in VR chat, a connected hardware headset will be required. Installing the Neuron OSC tool is required as it will convert our BBH data into OSC ready data for VR chat. As for VR chat, you'll find the required application inside of Steam VR. Begin by setting up the Steam VR first. Perform the standard room calibration for your HMD. Calibrate the sensor and floor requirements as instructed. Once the calibration is done, make sure you're able to see SteamVR default room through the HMD and make sure your controllers are also working. Next, we'll suit up. Place the perception on body straps on yourself or perform it correctly. Ensure the straps are tightly placed and do not get displaced during the live capture. Only 10 body sensors are required for the setup, therefore we only use the following body straps for the performance. Next, connect the body sensors to Access Studio and have a look at the signal quality. In the suits panel, ensure you have a connection quality of 90% or above before we perform the sensor calibration. Let's calibrate the sensors with the magnetic and steady calibration. First go to the main menu and choose magnetic calibration. Click connect to detect all active sensors and then click start to begin the process. Here, move the calibration box in a figure 8 motion until the progress bar of the dialog is full. After 5 rotations, flip the box 180 degrees and continue to rotate the sensors. It's important to maintain a fluid and continuous motion during the calibration process. Then proceed to the steady calibration. Here the most important thing is that the sensors should be placed on a flat and steady surface where they will not move during the calibration. Then click OK. Once the sensors are calibrated, place them on the actor. For VR chat, we're only using 10 sensors. Use the following image as reference for which sensors we're using. It is important to note, turn off sensors that will not be used in this setup. Now we're ready to connect the sensors to Access Studio again, this time with the sensors placed on the body. Have your actor stand in an A pose during the sensor connect process. Once the sensors are connected to Access Studio, perform a posture calibration. Only three poses are required, T, A, and W pose. If you're in a tight space, you can deselect the W pose and choose the S pose. Keep in mind the S pose limits the use of our anti-mag feature. You'll want to move around the mocap volume and make sure the avatar mirrors your movement. After the posture calibration is completed, it is now time to set up a BVH data output. In the settings menu, enable BVH capture to stream data from your connected hardware. Choose Skeleton Access Studio, enable displacement. For the protocol, select TCP. In the local address, select the local hosts with the port number 7003. Click OK to confirm the changes. Next, run the Neuron OSC application to receive BVH data and convert it to OSC. Leave the VR chat IP address at the local host address and then click Run. The perception on suit data should now be streaming to the robot in the application. Now let's jump into VR chat. Put on your headset and run VR chat from your Steam VR app. Select your character of choice. Then enable OSC by going into the action menu. Now let's calibrate the OSC posture data to your character. We need to go into the VR chat launchpad. From the menu, locate and choose the calibrate FBT. Once initiated, you'll then see your target character in a T-pose. To calibrate, stay in a T-pose and then click on both triggers of your controllers to complete a calibration. Both your mocap data and character should now be working together. And that's it for this tutorial video. Thank you for watching.